Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be all about my body care collection. It's gotten a little out of hand and I kind of realized recently that I probably need to not purchase full sizes for the Christmas season, which is a bummer but um, I need to keep track of it all. And I honestly haven't updated my inventory numbers in over three months, I think. So it's gotten a little out of hand. So I'm gonna lay all my stuff out on the bed and kind of show you guys everything that I'm working with right now, tell you all my numbers, and um, we will go from there. I did do a collection video, I think, before SAS, um, which was maybe early June or late May. So I will link that up above and you guys can see that, but let's go ahead and get on into the collection. Okay, we are starting out on the bed and I know I said um, body care only, but I have also all my hand soaps and then my like scrubs, hand sanitizers, like pretty much anything that you use in your body, I put on the bed. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Um, gotten a little out of hand, I'm not gonna lie. So we have fragrance mist right here. We have all our lotions. We've got body creams, shower gels, little perfume section, some minis section. Uh, we've got the pocket backs. This is like miscellaneous. Um, scrubs, hand soaps, and then this whole top row is things that I'm either going to return or I'm still deciding whether I'm going to keep. Um, I might need some help from you guys to see if I should maybe just put all that stuff up on Mercari and not just and just not mess with trying to exchange them. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. I'll show you them. Um, let me know if you're interested, I guess, and I can put them up on Mercari. I have a Mercari account. I just haven't used it in a very long time, but I need to declutter and I really could just sell those, honestly. Okay, so I guess we're going to get started. So this whole section right here is all of my sprays. I kind of lined everything up from Christmas, fall. This is like the non-seasonal, just like they're always scents kind of, and um, like spring and summer. So that's what we're going with for now. So starting it off with my Christmas collection from last year, like I said, I haven't even started purchasing for this year's Christmas season. So uh, you will you can obviously see why I have such a huge collection. Um, and also do not mind my nails. I'm so sorry. I did not have time to either paint them or put on some fake nails. So you're seeing them just how they are. I apologize for that. But here are my three uh, mists from last year. I have Christmas cookies, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Coconut Mint Drop. I really wanted to get these two because I thought they would not come back, and then I needed a replacement of my Vanilla Bean Noel, but this year and last year, Vanilla Bean Noel has been super light, so I'm kind of disappointed. They came back out with Christmas cookies, which is great. I have not seen yet if they're coming out with Coconut Mint Drop again, so I'm actually very thankful that I still have that. And then we have our few things from fall. So fall last year, we have Vanilla Mocha Cafe, White Pumpkin and Chai, which they brought back. Pink Velvet Cupcake, which they brought back. I'm literally almost done with this. And Warm Vanilla Sugar also came out in that same line, but it is kind of an always um, signature scent. And then we have a few other signature scents. So we have Whip Vanilla Chiffon, which I believe is an online exclusive. Velvet Sugar, Almond Blossom, Twinkling Nights, and then Champagne Toast, I'm considering um, an a signature scent, but I did pick this up at SAS. It's from like a spring line, I think last year. Um, I have the only diamond shimmer mist in my collection in the scent Twilight Woods. I think I got this for like $2 um, at the outlet during um, semi-annual sale, either, I think it was during the summer. So yeah, it's really gorgeous. I love it, but I don't use it too much, but it smells amazing. And then I have my only two uh, pink Miss and they are in Whip Dream, Cake Sprinkles and Vanilla Caramel, and a Vanilla Swirl, which is Frosted Vanilla and Sugar Crystals. I got these both at their semi-annual sale last December, so that's from their previous line. Um, moving on up, let's go to all the body moisturizers. So starting us off, this is my only aromatherapy. I'm really not the biggest fan of aromatherapy, to be honest with you. The scents are sometimes too strong for my nose. I have asthma and I've always struggled with having, with being sensitive to super strong scents. So I usually just don't go for anything like super menthol, eucalyptus, all that kind of stuff. It's a little too strong for me, but I did pick up this peppermint one last year at SAS. 
um, in the winter and I have not even touched it yet. So I'm hoping to bring this out this winter. Um, but I think this is just enough of like just plain peppermint that it's going to be really good. So I'm very excited to start using that one. And then I have this Winterberry Wonder Body Butter from last year. I got about halfway through it last year, but I didn't finish it. So I will be finishing it this year. This is the only body butter that I own currently. And then on to the body lotions. So from last Christmas, we have an unopened, still in the wrapper, Vanilla Bean Noel, Twisted Peppermint, and Christmas Cookies. From this fall, we have White Pumpkin, oh sorry, last fall we have White Pumpkin and Chai, and this fall we have Pumpkin Cupcake. And then we have a Confetti Cake Pop, which I picked up at the SAS sale, Strawberry Pound Cake from the spring, and Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. So that's it for that one. And then I just have a random Jergens Natural Glow. I actually haven't used this that much. I really only use this during the spring and summer when I'm trying to keep my tan going um, versus like fall and winter. I'm really not caring if I'm like super tan or not. So I haven't really been using this, but I do absolutely love it. I always repurchase it every time I finish it. Um, let's go ahead and get into the minis. So I don't have too many uh, body moisturizers because I usually go through the minis of those pretty quickly. So I have Sunrise Woods in the body cream and then the Happy Halloween uh, Vampire Blood in the body lotion. Then I've got four mini sprays. So we have Happy Halloween in the Diamond Shimmer Mist. So I guess this is, I guess Twilight Woods is not my only shimmer mist, but this one's a mini and it is again, Vampire Blood, super gorgeous. I think it, it really has the same kind of sheen. It's like a silver sheen, very similar to Twilight Woods, very pretty and like a nice simple strawberry scent. Um, we have Honey Wildflower, which is almost too floral for me. I'm still deciding if I wanna keep that or not. Coconut Cream Pie, which is like my love from last summer, and then Warm and Cozy from Pink, and this is Soft Vanilla Toasted Coconut and Passion Fruit. This is always gonna be a favorite of mine. Um, I'm use I've used it probably already like halfway. It'll probably be gone pretty soon, but this is like one of my favorite scents. It's such a simple, sweet scent, I love it. And then moving up to the hand creams, you guys know I love my Bath and Body Works hand creams. I have pumpkin cupcake I'm using right now, sweet whiskey and strawberry pound cake. And then I have this little Burt's Bees um, almond milk hand cream. So it's really cool little tin. I just keep this in my purse for whenever I need it. Um, and then I have a few shower gels. So we have again, Happy Halloween Vampire Blood, Fairy Tale and Hibiscus Paradise. I might be getting rid of Fairy Tale because it is also a little too floral for me. Still haven't decided though. And then moving on to my perfume category, it's pretty small. Um, I have these two from Dossier. This is Floriental Brown Sugar and then Musky Musk. I've got like a little mini perfume set from Ariana Grande. Um, and I believe this is like Cloud. Oh, gosh, I really don't remember what any of these are called, but I know she came back out with this kind of a rollerball mini set again this year. So if you guys are looking for it, they definitely have it again for Christmas. So I know she hasn't come out with it in a few years, but they do have the mini set again this Christmas. And then I have a Victoria's Secret Tease Heartbreaker and a little roll on. And this is actually a very old Mary Kay Winter Wishes perfume. I have it about halfway used, but it's a very nice like fruity floral scent so I definitely want to keep it and finish it but it's like super old I've had this since probably middle school so yeah I gotta use that up but uh, moving on up to all the shower gels we're gonna start off actually I'm gonna start over to the left I kind of organize everything left to right so we're gonna do that um this is my only one from OGX in coconut and coffee the scrub and wash I love this stuff it's so good if you are a coconut fan I mean a coffee fan and coconut, I guess, um, you will love this. And then we have strawberry pound cake in the moisturizing body wash. Um, this is the only moisturizing body wash that I have right now. And then from last winter, I have a Christmas cookies. So I pretty much have a whole Christmas cookies set. Um, and then I have winterberry wonder. Um, I have white pumpkin and chai from last year, pumpkin pecan waffles, sugared cherry crisp. This I picked up actually at SAS and raspberry jam donut. So not too many shower gels. I'm actually not super mad about that part of my collection and I can go through those pretty quickly. Uh, moving on to body creams. So I have these two left over from last Christmas where I really need to start using up because they go bad fast. 
uh, Christmas cookies and coconut mint drop. Then we have white pumpkin and chai, which I'm working on finishing right now. Raspberry jam donut, champagne sprinkles, and margarita cupcake, which I got all these at this year's summer SAS. So I was really loving margarita cupcake during the summer. Actually, it was kind of hard for me to put this one down and switch over to white pumpkin and chai, not gonna lie. Okay, I had to move over to the side of the bed, so I'm sorry for this angle. But here are my five hand soaps. So we have um, one in my bathroom upstairs and one in my bathroom downstairs. But these are all the backups that we own. So I have toasted vanilla and chai. This is my favorite scent of all time in hand soap. And I will continue to, to repurchase it. I'm going to get some backups at the next soap sale for next fall. Um, but I use this pretty much year round because it's just such a simple vanilla scent. Um, if you don't know the notes, they are whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. It's honestly just like a spicy vanilla scent. It's my favorite. Um, and I'm going to break this out as soon as I finish my blackberries and basil that I'm using right now, which is going to be done pretty soon. And then we have a hip hop array, a sprinkled donut, and the uh, pump on this one actually came in broken. So going to have to replace that. <laughs> and then we have a coconut cream pie, sunshine and lemons. And this is a vanilla cloud. If you guys have not seen this before, I actually found this at my outlet. Um, so I don't know if it's available. Like if it, I don't even know if this was only exclusive. I think this is actually from Canada because it's in so many different languages. Um, but it's whipped vanilla, apple blossom and sandalwood. It's a very nice and fresh scent. Okay, moving on to my four body scrubs. So this one, yeah, the packaging has worn off quite a bit, but this is just the Dove uh, Macadamia and Rice Milk. This is such a like gentle scrub. I really love this for kind of every day. And then we have these two from Onyx Bathhouse, which I both got, a, I got both of them, excuse me, at uh, TJ Maxx and they were $5.99. So the first one is Dim Buns Dough, so cute, I love that. And then the second one is Stay Toasty, which is Toasted Marshmallow, and that one was Cinnamon Buns. So I'm currently working through Toasted Marshmallow right now, and then I will move on to Cinnamon Buns. Um, and then my only Bath & Body Works scrub right now is Sunrise Woods. It's a creamy body scrub. It's my first time trying this formula. It's also a very kind of gentle formula. Really, really loving it so far. And then my only body oil that I own is the uh, Eucalyptus and Spearmint Stress Relief. This is really like the only like kind of stress relief item that I like or aromatherapy item that I like. So I really enjoy this. I usually use it every time after I shave my legs. So, And then I have this one off just random bubble bath from last year in Vanilla Bean Noel. I really, really loved this. It's so good. Um, but last year, let's see how much it was. Last year it was $12.50, so I actually bought this, um, I think it was on the Black Friday sale when everything was 50% off. So yeah, I did not pay $12.50 for it, I paid $7.25, which is still too much because they had it, this and the Winter Candy Apple version for like $5 and then for $2 at my outlet during SAS. So definitely don't pay full price for these. I know they came out with them again this uh, this winter in the bubble bath. Do not pay full price. That is such a scam. $13 for this little bitty thing of bubble bath. Yeah, right. You could find a giant um, tub of bubble bath at Walmart for that price. So definitely don't pay that, but it is a really good formula and I really, really love it. So if you can find it at a good deal, absolutely. I totally recommend it. Okay, I had to get on the bed for this one because we're like really far up the bed now. But I wanted to include my little pocket bag holders in my collection video today because I don't usually show them. So this first one is like this quilted black and it has a little tassel on it. It's all silicone, um, but this one's just so gorgeous. I actually think I got it as a gift from somebody in high school, I want to say. And I've used it ever since on all my purses. It's just so chic and I really love it. I wish they would con continue to do like chic versions of the pocket back holders. You can put it on like designer bags and still look cute. But at the same time, I love their cute pocket bag holders like this little um, latte with his jack-o'-lantern face. He's so cute. I have vampire blood inside of him right now and I keep him clipped onto my purse. So I love him so much. But those are my only two pocket bag holders. I don't really see the need to do a lot of them. This is the first time that I really had just had to have him for the fall and like Halloween time, but that's the uh, pocket bag situation. But starting over at the top, I have Filling Awesome Strawberry Pound Cake, Pumpkin Cupcake, I have Ghoul Friend, and then into the um, Christmas ones. This is like the only set of Christmas stuff that I actually have from this year um, that I've purchased as of yet. And the first one is Vanilla Bean Noel. And then we have Winter Candy Apple, Tis the Season, Twisted Peppermint, Frosted Coconut Snowball, and Iced Cinnamon Rolls. Okay, so we're going to move on to this whole section 
of things that I'm considering either exchanging or selling on Mercari. So totally let me know what you think down below. I'm thinking um, selling on Mercari is honestly gonna be easier because every time I've gone into the store to exchange things, they are so like peculiar about it. They sometimes are rude about it. And um, if I don't have the receipt, which a few of these I don't have the receipt for, they won't let me do it. Um, or they'll take the price of it, which this old snowflakes and cashmere would probably be like $5, worth $5. And it's, I paid $13.50 for it. So, you know, that just doesn't make sense. I don't know. Um, to me, I think it's just because a lot of people have abused the return system. Um, I just never got to use these guys. Some of them are still sealed on top from last year. So I would like to exchange them, yeah, for new stuff. But do I need any more lotions? Probably not. So I'm thinking it might just be a better idea and easier for me to let somebody else enjoy these and sell them on Mercari. So that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think down below. But I have Snowflakes and Cashmere, Winterberry Wonder. I have two of these. So actually last year, I think I did like a body lotion order when they had them like on sale for five dollars or something and my first order got lost and so they ended up reshipping my order and then my first order that got lost suddenly found me like a month and a half later and I received both sets so now I have two sets of Winterberry Wonder and then I have two sets of Vanilla Bean Noel the other one I'm keeping down there so that's the lotions okay now we're moving on sorry I'm like upside down I hope this is not confusing um, we're moving on to this set. I have winter candy apple, gingerbread latte. I did not enjoy gingerbread latte. I really didn't. Winter candy apple's kind of growing on me. I might keep this one for this year to use. I'm still undecided. Um, but I really did not gin like gingerbread latte, but I have used it a little bit. Um, and then we have frosted holly on here, which is actually like super old. Um, not super old from last year, but it's fresh magnolia, zesty grapefruit and sycamore wood so it's super super like tree-like and manly and masculine this came in a set that i like actually bought my brother on mercari because he wanted sweater sweater weather but in the spring and i was like dude they don't sell it but i'll get it for you off of mercari so um it just came as a set and i'm not going to use this um and then rosé champagne actually from a few sas's ago i just never got to using it it's not my like absolute favorite i'm not in love with it so i'd rather just like not keep it for myself um, and then these three sprays I have a bonfire bash which I'm considering keeping because I really do love this scent I love it so much but I don't need it that's my thing and then frosted coconut snowball I know so many people absolutely love this scent but it's just not for me so I'm not gonna keep that one and like I said with gingerbread latte I didn't really enjoy it it wasn't the strongest scent it had a little bit of like that pear note that what didn't really sit right with me it didn't have enough spice i thought it was going to be super spicy like the previous gingerbread one that was like spiced gingerbread um but it was not spicy at all it was basically just a sugar scent and i although i liked it it wasn't the best so and then i have these two from this year fairy tale which i again is too floral for me and open sky which is again too floral for me so yeah thinking i might get rid of those so yeah that's the whole collection i know that was a lot of stuff i need to start working through it and hopefully get to a better place and i definitely need to update my um i keep an inventory of these on a google sheet a google spreadsheet so i'll try and link mine down below so you can see what i'm talking about but i definitely need to update my spreadsheet because I have not updated it since SAS, so I did not include any of the new things that I like bought for fall. So I absolutely need to do that. But that's the entire collection. So that's it, guys. That's my entire body care collection. I hope that you enjoyed that. Um, let me know down below. Are you satisfied with your numbers right now? Are you still buying a lot for Christmas? Um, I haven't even started buying yet for Christmas, which is like a little sad. But I think I'm going to have to stick to minis, like I said earlier. So, but that's everything for my collection. I'm really working through it. I do have a um, project used up going continuously. So you guys can also check that out. I'll go ahead and try and link it up above as well. And that's everything for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.